What's going on guys, Philip at Trade Genius. All right, we're gonna take a look at the overall alt market. I know you guys have been curious about the altcoins and we will take a look at some altcoins in the next few videos uh, that you guys have requested, but I wanted to take a look at the overall alt market. So basically looking at dominance as it relates to alts versus BTC. And then also the uh, overall crypto cap as far as others BTC is concerned and total two, we'll explain the difference on those. Uh, so we'll just look at some of the uh, signals and the stochastics and things like that to kind of give us uh, areas to be aware of. Also, guys, uh, if you guys sign up, uh, end of the month special here, if you guys sign up either with one of the packages that includes the Moneymaker Signal software or just individually the Moneymaker and you use the code for 40% off, I'm going to throw in this daily alt buy indicator. Normally, this is only for the class attendees. Next one that we're going to uh, be doing is Orlando. So that's the next time anybody's going to get access to this. Uh, the folks in Hawaii uh, got access to this in addition to the four-hour indicator. Uh, but the Alt Daily Buy, I'll give to you guys if you sign up today before the end of the month. And basically, what that does is on, it's meant to run on the daily. And you, it's a nice, easy signal because you're not dealing with a real small time frame. So it's like get in and you give it some time to develop. So if you're busy doing other things, that's nice. But uh, it catches nice swings and you can set up alerts on it, right click on it, add an alert. And on the daily, you'll you know, you'll catch some nice moves, some nice spikes. So, um, you, you know, you can set your targets. Like in this market, we're gonna get into, you know, you wanna look at like the ranges and previous uh, support resistance levels and things like that for your target, but it gives you a nice opportunity to get in uh, and, and I like it when we're in a sideways ranging bottoming chart on these alts. I think it works really well. And uh, it has been working really well looking back over the last year and a half on alts. Even when they're going down, uh, it gives you those nice entries on counter swing trades. We're going long. So anyway, just thought I would run that by you guys. All right, let's take a look at the alt market, guys. Let's dive into this video. Trade genius. All right, first things first, let's look at dominance. And, you know, so dominance is represented by the candles here uh, in a linear regression channel. Broke the trend line really hard on that pump. And you can blame China uh, being positive on crypto, or you could blame tether uh, issues for people mass exiting tether or a combination of the two, whatever it is. Uh, but, you know, trend line broke. And generally, when dominance and also the alt cap um, breaks those trend lines, you get a decent move. And that's what we got. And so now we're kind of back around this support resistance area around the uh, 70, 69 to 70 uh, mark as re with regards to the uh, Bitcoin uh, dominance percentage. So if we look at areas, or basically if we look at the stochastic, so we are getting toppy. Uh, we're seeing that the main stochastic is hooking down and we're starting to get another bearish cross on the stochastics. RSI hasn't really, you know, it's kind of in the middle of the road, so not much there. Um, if dominance chops, then it's just going to be a nice ranging atmosphere for altcoins. So, uh, you know, barring another gigantic move on Bitcoin, I think dominance more than likely will range for the next couple of weeks as we head into November. The deeper we go into November, though, that's where I would start looking for dominance to start moving up because seasonally that's where we start to see that happen. All right, switching to others BTC. So this is everything except the top 15 tokens in market cap. So this is the majority of your alt coins, okay? I like to look at this just because I think it represents more of the alts that you would be swing trading in. Um, there's this area here uh, that I've highlighted and I, what I'd like to see is us clear the shaded area and we can drag that out a little bit here, but uh, that's really what I want to see us clear uh, right now. It's going to act as resistance in this zone. Um, again, if we're ranging in this area, that's where you can still go on to the smaller time frames with the money maker and things like that and, and trade those ranges. Look at what the trading range is on the linear regression and you know try to get half of that range or so and that works out every day you know you can grind on that so so the price action here actually is favorable for swing trading alts but we're not in that full alt season where we could see you know 100 200 300 percent type gains across a multitude of alts we are generally there uh, on a lot of alts across the board for those type of gains from the, these levels but you just have to keep in mind that we haven't really breached any levels that would basically tell me that we've confirmed that 
that has started. Okay, so what I'm looking for on the alt market cap, or at least the others BTC level, is going to be basically this support and resistance area here. Uh, we start getting above that, and I think the potential is there. We've, you notice we've come up to it a couple of times, but hasn't really gotten the party started. Clearing that 1.457 mark is probably going to be a big step toward that. So that's the level to keep in mind, uh, especially if you're looking at getting long and holding longer term. Uh, wait for like one of these moves where we break above it and then back test it and then off. Okay, that's that's a very classic move there. And I think that would be part of a larger move and part of probably like an alt season that would be pretty aggressive over the duration of at least a month, month and a half. Uh, you know, when the really aggressive alt seasons happen, that's, you know, one, one and a half months is uh, plenty of time to see a large percentage gain on a lot of alts. So I would be actively in that. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much going to do it. That's my take right now. I think we're ranging. I think it's good for little alt swings. Careful going in the deeper part of November. Uh, I think Bitcoin dominance could start moving back up and because I, I am expecting a larger Bitcoin move up during that time frame. Uh, fourth quarter, you know, December spikes can happen on Bitcoin. So just keep that in mind. And uh, after a pullback there, uh, you know, you pull back into January, a lot of times you'll see uh, a follow-up altcoin move. So uh, I'm actually pretty stoked on alts going forward over the next uh, couple of months. I think that there's plenty of potential for upside. But as far as potentials during the day, stick to the smaller time frames, smaller percentage gains right now. Uh, they're pretty consistent. And if you're interested in our software that uh, specializes in that, head over to tradelikeagenius.com. Check out our packages over there. And like I said, I'll throw in that daily altcoin signal, which is really great. Set alerts on that. Wait from the fire and then enter those trades. And a uh, nice risk reward on those. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.